I'm going to be showing you what's on my iPad Mini 4 64 gig Wi-Fi and cellular gold model. Now yes, I did decide to go for the middle of the road 64 gig Wi-Fi and cellular. I do not highly recommend anyone going for the crappy 16 gig model. Even if you're a casual user of your iPad, I would not recommend going with 16 gig because nowadays 16 gig is just not enough space whether you think it's a lot or not because down the road you'll want to install something and you'll just be out of memory because let's face it out of the box when you get these things most of the time you're not getting really 16 64 or 128 gig you're getting probably with a 16 gig only 10 gig of storage out of the box once you get the operating system on there and all the apps apple installs you're technically only getting like 10 or 11 gig out of the box and that's not a lot for games since games are getting bigger and movies and pictures and things like that so it's just nice to have some comfort to know that you're covered when you have 64 gig or 128 for the most part 128 is probably going to be too big for most people so 64 gig is probably the sweet spot and i do think 64 gig is the sweet spot now on my uh home screen on my first screen i just have all the apple apps i don't really need to go any over any of these apps these are just apps apple installs and yes i do not put my apple apps in a folder called crapple or crap apps or anything like that i know a lot of people do actually a funny story one of my friends actually had two folders called one called crapple and one called crap apps and he put it on his uh uh iPhone but for me I just don't do it well I don't really use a lot of these apps I just prefer them stock like the way the device came out of the box so that's why I don't put any of the Apple apps into their own folder but there's just all the Apple apps now moving to the second home screen I do have two the top two rows are more Apple apps and then the bottom are my apps that I currently installed as you can see all those folders and yes, I will admit, I really didn't need all these apps installed. It's just nice to play around with your iPad or your iPhone when you have a lot of storage on your device. Right now, with all these apps installed, I still have 24 gig, and that's still a lot considering I can still put movies, music, picture, and I'll still have enough room left. So 24 gig left over is still pretty sweet. That's one reason I really didn't think I would need 128 gig. And especially when I have the cellular model, the cellular model kind of takes over the, the 128 gig. If I have cellular, that really cuts down the need on me getting the 128 gig version because most of the time, since I have cellular, I can stream stuff to the tablet, so I won't really need 128. 64 is still probably the sweet spot for me. So here are all my uh, folders I have sports, videos, music, Google shopping social news navigation weather games games two and utilities and as you can see that's my last home screen i only have two home screens on my uh, ipad mini 4 and for my sports i have two sports apps installed i have espn and i have yahoo sports now the main one i really use is espn i do like yahoo sports but the reason i don't use yahoo sports as much as espn is because Yahoo Sports actually only works in landscape mode. It doesn't work in portrait mode. And when you're reading text or browsing through the internet, you really want to use portrait mode. You really don't want to be stuck in landscape mode. So that's the reason I only use ESPN. I really do need to delete Yahoo Sports. I really would have loved it if it would have been in the portrait mode, portrait viewing mode. And then over there, I have all my videos. This is the... Uh, part of my tablet i'm probably in the most here are all my video apps and yes i was thinking about cutting the cord or i did cut the cord about a year and a half ago but then recently i decided to actually get cable tv back again so a lot of these you do need cable subscription to actually watch but i do have a cable subscription uh with cox so that's what i'm using i got netflix twitch youtube cox nfl mobile watch disney Vimeo or Voodoo, and then I also got YouTube Gaming, watch ESPN, watch uh, Food Network, and uh, 
VTube. Now VTube really needs to be uninstalled because it's not working for some reason. I really don't know why VTube is not working, but for some reason it's not working. The one on this page I probably use 99% of the time is Netflix. If you don't know what Netflix is, then you're crazy, but Netflix is just a freaking awesome app. You do have to pay like $8 a month to actually access it but you get all the unlimited streaming of movies and TV shows you want and their catalog is just beautiful and you can stream on any device like a gaming console, a PC, a smartphone, a tablet, basically any device that's connected to the internet can get Netflix which is pretty sweet. And then another one I use on this tablet would be a Watch Disney. Believe it or not I do like some of Disney Channel shows and you do need a cable subscription to access the live video on that so I use a uh, watch Disney which is pretty sweet and then I also got NFO mobile this tablet is actually a Verizon cellular model and I do love watching all my NFL games on my tablet you do have to have a certain plan from Verizon if you want to use uh, the NFO mobile part you can still download the app it is a free app but you will need Verizon if you want to watch all the Sunday Monday and Thursday night games your heart desires but anyway it is an awesome app and I do use that a lot as well as uh, watch ESPN I check in that sometimes but since I have NFL mobile I really don't need watch ESPN because for the most part I'm mostly an NFL fan an NFL football fan I really don't watch any other sport I really love my football especially the NFL then the next folder I have on my tablet would be a uh, my music I just got all my standard music apps that everyone else has I have my Pandora, Spotify, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, Play Music. And for a factor, you can get Google Play Music on iOS as an app. So if you're an Android user like myself, since my phone is an Android phone, you can actually get Play Google on your iOS device, whether it's an iPod Touch, whether it's an iPhone or an iPad. You can get the Play Google app on iOS, which is very nice, especially since I have a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, music I have purchased on Android. Then I got uh, SoundCloud and this other looking app, which ain't really an app. It's just a, a bookmark to a web page, which I do need to get rid of. And then I also got a Google folder. I have Google Chrome, Drive, Google Plus, and the regular Google app. I actually prefer Google uh, Google Now over a uh, Siri. I know whether you hate it or not. I do find Google Now a little bit more useful than Siri, but that's just me. And then I also got shopping. I only have two of my shopping. I have Amazon and I have eBay. You got to have your Amazon and your eBay when shopping. Then I also got my social. I got just like anyone else. I have Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, a dating website thing, which I don't even use anymore. I don't know why. Actually, when I installed it, I, I actually did not install this as a new iPad. I actually installed this as a, a backup for my cloud or whatever, and it just installed my apps that I had years ago, and that was one of them. And then I also got Messenger, uh, Facebook Messenger and Tweetbot, or Twitterific. I actually prefer Tweetbot over Twitterific. The reason I have Twitterific is because it is free, unlike Tweetbot. Tweetbot costs you $5.00. But I think TweetBot is worth it for the $5 if you're a heavy Twitter user. So I'm probably going to pick that up in the future for my Twitter client. I do think it's better than the actual Twitter app. And then over here, I do have uh, my news. I got CNN, Facebook. I do got Google News. And I do got the news app installed that comes with iOS 9. And I really don't need this many uh, news apps. I'm just really stocking up on apps for the hell of it. <laughs> and then I also got... a. Uh, navigation I got Google Maps I got Apple Maps and I got Waze and out of the three of these apps I tend to use Waze the most I just like the interface of Waze and I do like the way it works and everything I'm just a big Waze user compared to Google Maps and Apple Maps but what I will say if I don't have Waze working or it doesn't work I do default to Google Maps I do like Google Maps more than I actually like uh, Apple Maps because I just find Apple Maps not to be as useful as uh, Google Maps because as you know it's still kind of glitchy and I did recently try it on a trip I was going on and it really wasn't the best experience in the world and it kind of guided me off track once it wasn't bad but I still prefer Google Maps over Apple Maps but if I can choose I still prefer Waze over anything else 
Then I also got my weather. Yes, I have way too many weather apps installed. You technically only need one, but I got Yahoo Weather, the Weather Channel, AccuWeather, Weather Underground, and Weather Bug. These are the top main weather uh, weather apps on uh, iOS. And my favorite one out of all of these that I use 99% of the time has to be Yahoo Weather. Yahoo Weather just looks gorgeous on iOS. It does look very, very nice. And there's also a widget for your notification prey on Yahoo Weather if you want to try that out. It just looks fantastic and I would highly recommend Yahoo Weather over any of these other weather apps. And then uh, coming to my big two folders, I have a lot of games. I don't play most of these games. I just like having them installed just for the heck of it. I'm going to run down them real quick. I have Subway Surfers, Jetpack Joyride, Crossy Roads, Temple Run 2, Pac-Man 256, Fruit Ninja Free, which I don't know why it's free. I actually paid for that a long time ago. And then I have a Bitty Bug Racing, Cod Zombies, Smashy Roads, Angry Birds, Candy Crush, Rayman, Rayman Fiesta Run, Farm Heroes, Plants for Zombies 2, Asphalt 8, and Cut the Rope. And out of all of these games in this folder, the one I play primarily is Subway Surfers. If you haven't played Subway Surfers, it's just an awesome game. It is a free-running game like Temple Run, but it is one of my favorite free-running games. I play that from time to time. Most of these games, like I said, I don't play. I just like having them there for the heck of it since I have the 64 gig iPad Mini 4. Then I also have another games folder. Clearly, I have way too many games installed. I have Yahtzee with Buddies, I have R RUA2, I have I have a uh, Farm Away, Minion Rush, Snoopy Town, Need for Speed. I also have Sim City, Swipe Me Out, Free Play, The Sims Free Play, Madden Mobile, and Shooty Skies. And Shooty Skies is made by the same developer as Crossy Road. It is a fun game. It's kind of like a sh a shmup game. It's a really fun game. I'm not gonna go into it right now, but it is a very fun game. And uh, the other folder I made is utilities. I have a one password, and one password is actually a cool utility. If you never want to remember a password again, it is a nice utility. You won't have to remember passwords again. I highly do recommend one password. But then again, if you need to type in your password, you'll probably never remember it again. So be careful when using one password. You may never remember one of your passwords ever again, and that could be deadly if you have to type in it in in another device. That's not yours or something, and you can't remember. That's gonna be that's gonna cost you big. Then I got speed speed uh, test. Of course, check my speed connections. Then I got my Verizon to check how much data I use on my iPad, and that pretty much sums up everything I have on my iPad. I just have two uh, folders or two uh, home screens on my iPad. And anyway, peace out. I'll see you guys later in my next video. I'm out.